Right, you read the title correctly. Three sons, zero bullshit. I'm gonna make this as short as possible. Go to the link in the description. Donnie from Daytona has captured the most paradigm shifting video I have ever seen. Other than my own orc video that they wiped out. So go there quickly because they may get rid of this. But Donnie, unlike myself, probably has a backup file on a separate drive, flash drive, hard drive, whatever. Three sons, that's the only way you can describe it. Any other description gets into wording and vocabulary that's way beyond my pay grade, and in the area of speculation. The best and only honest way you can describe the video that he captured is three sons. In the comment section, some people say they see four, there's definitely three. They're not hard to see. They're very obvious. So watch that video now. And if you have seen any video anywhere in the world that shifts our paradigm, our understanding of what's going on up there or down here or anywhere, let me know what it is. Otherwise, I think Donnie's video is like Copernicus telling us about the heliocentric solar system. It changes our point of view and perspective and perception and understanding, but it proves it. It's unbelievable, but it's believable now because you can see it with your own eyes. Donnie didn't doctor that video. Donnie from Daytona, his new YouTube channel is like H3D TV, like head TV he calls it, but the E is a three. I lost track of him. He was part of my awakening. A year and a half ago, Somehow I found him, and at the time he was doing mostly drone videos showing you the solar simulator. That's no longer an emphasis and part of his message. He knows there's a sun simulator. He's not trying to convince you of that. That's so last year. In the progression of his awakening process, he's become much more nonchalant, relaxed, laid back about the whole thing because he knows we're not in Kansas anymore. He's no longer emphasizing it or trying to get you to believe it or worried or concerned about it. You can just tell his style's changed. His videos are much shorter. And to have captured what he had captured and put it on video is laid back. He says you can tell I'm kind of serious in this one. And you can tell it rocked his world. Those three sons he captured rocked his world as they should. And how do I know he didn't doctor it? Told you, I've got this sixth sense. I can tell a bullshitter. I know when your emotional vibratory output that comes from right there. Ooh, easy there. You're hard. I can tell when your emotional vibratory output doesn't match the words coming out of your mouth. That doesn't tell me what the truth is. That tells me you don't feel the words coming out of your mouth. He's just a dude like you and me. He has a second job. He has a high understanding level of electronics, the equipment that he's using, the cameras, the frame rate and speed and light exposure and apertures and all that kind of stuff. He's good with that. So he may have some experience in electronical engineering or something. I don't think he's ever done any time in the military. It doesn't matter. The video he's posted of the three sons, we can get into guessing making some speculation as to what that is. But like I said, I lost track of him. And only up until the other day when I Googled Donnie of Daytona and was able to find his new YouTube channel, H3D TV. That was like four days ago. Because I wondered, whatever happened to that guy? He was the one who convinced me, and it wasn't with a, he convinced me with explanation, it was with demonstration. When, using drones, and the camera on the drone, he would show the sun and the black hole in the middle of the sun, how it reflects off the water surface. That means it's not overexposure of the light sensors, which is what most people will tell you that don't want to acknowledge that's a sun simulator up there. So I'll include a couple other links from Sinlight, produced by the company Sinlight, explaining why they made a sun simulator and how it works. A uh, link from the London Guardian, Let There Be Light, titled Let There Be Light, where they explain how Germany has unveiled the world's largest sun simulator, and a commercial by a company, AO 
delivery, AO as in Alpha and Omega, where they, the whole basis of their commercial is that the sun simulator goes out and it starts flickering and everyone looks out their window and starts going, what the hell, how come the light's flickering? And these guys come to the rescue and they go to the warehouse and they pull out a sun. It says right on the box, sun. And they go and they oh, I think it's over there, oh, it's over there. A couple guys driving in a repair van, roll up to the sun, change out a bulb and send it back up and everything's good. What Donnie captured may be either simulators that travel in packs, which would make sense to avoid the comic comical scenario depicted in the AO commercial that shows the sun simulator went out and everyone starts to have a dull day. The reason they would travel in packs is for redundancy or so you can adjust the brightness. The other thing you'll notice, the three suns, small, medium, and large, that would make sense also. Or they could be lenses, but I don't think so. The only other guesses people have is like, oh, those are spirits, those are spirit orbs, uh, angels, spherical angels or something, you know, but it looks like three suns go behind the cloud and then only one comes out the other side. Did they all three go into alignment? Did the other two come out and you just can't see them because you're blinded by the light? Or it could be lenses, Fresnel lenses, which are just flexible lenses made out of a material that's like rubber or vinyl. So you can roll them up and compress them into a little tube, shoot them up in a rocket and then open them up and they expand. That's the reason you would use Fresnel lenses as opposed to a hard lens made out of glass or something. The other thing Donnie says, that I've known, I got a lot of videos to catch up with Donnie's YouTube page. The other thing he says is that, in, in another one of his videos, he shows, oh, by the way, Mr. MBB333, in one of his recent videos, I'll include a link in the description and the minute and second number you can go to where he explains. There are two sons. He acknowledges it and gives it a little bit of credit and credence and says, I get a lot of these videos where it shows multiple sons, but I dismiss most of them because it's just a lens flare. But these here examples, I can't say it's a lens flare. And MBB333 is a image analyst. He had his cameo debut on Ancient Aliens as an image analyst. The guy knows how to spot a lens flare is what I'm saying. And if he says, I can't say these are lens flares, the other thing I'll say is he obeys disclosure road speed limit. One of his dual sun images that he shows you and addresses and points out and talks about is one that I addressed about three or four videos ago where I said MBB333 goes right over this image where you can see the sun here and clearly another sun over here. And he just breezes right over it, doesn't even mention it. I'll include that link in the description too. I'll have to go back through my videos and find it. The one where he doesn't mention it, just breezes right over it, and the one where he says, okay, we've got enough of these dual sun videos, we're going to address the issue and give it credibility and credence on some level. Because these that I'm showing you, these couple that I'll show you here, watching the cup. <laughs> Uh, these are lens flares. One of them happens to be one that I showed you and says, what the hell, Mr. MB3 is definitely obeying the speed limit. When he breezes right over this, doesn't even mention the other sun in the photo. So, here's the other guess. Either it's lenses, three sun simulators traveling in pack, or Planet X, solar system, planets and moons. Multiple people talk about this. Last Days, Final Days, that's the name of her YouTube channel. She shows the Alaskan weather cams, Alaskan airport weather cams, and she shows these spheres that are in our atmosphere all the time. Claudia Albers, Dr. Claudia Albers, talks about the same thing, but she calls them stellar cores. Planet X stellar cores. The other thing I already heard Donnie saying in his video where he shows Ghost Moon 
and Ghost Sun. And B333 did a video on this back in the day. Maybe I'll be able to look that one up too where it says Ghost Moon, Ghost Bird, and Ghost Airplane. And by ghost, he means you can see the bird and then a, a mirror image of it just behind it, like a shadow of it, but it's not a shadow of it. And if it is, it's a shadow on the firmament. Now, there, Donnie is saying that there's two sets of clouds, and I agree. A, the clouds seem a lot lower on a regular basis now, like a high pressure, high barometric pressure has got them right above us. MB333 says in almost every one of his videos, look at that, low riding shelf cloud. It's almost like he could reach up and touch that thing. He says it in almost every video because it's a new phenomenon. Clouds didn't used to be this low. Donnie says there's two sets of clouds. He also has spotted this ghost moon and ghost sun in a couple of his recent videos, but again, I'm going to have to go back and look and see what else he's talking about these days, because he's clearly developed and advanced in his progression of awakening. He's no longer showing you that there's a sun simulator and a little black circle in the middle. That's old news. i got to see what else he's discovered in the last year, because YouTube unsubscribed me from his channel or they erased his channel, just like they did mine, got rid of all of his subscribers and all of his content, and that's why it's now H3D TV, instead of Johnny of Daytona. But the guy produced a video on accident, he says it, he was just walking along and he saw something with the naked eye and all, all the camera he had on was his phone. When he has a lot of high-tech camera gadgets, the only one he had was his phone. I read in the comments section, about 20 and 30 comments, at least two or three people say they see four suns. The three that are all right in a line. One, two, three, going right in a line. And then like three or four people say, I see a fourth one down here. I'll still have to look. I'll go back and look. I haven't noticed it. I haven't even looked for it. I was just reading the comments. One person says, it seems like you're synced up with these things, man. I don't know if he has conscious contact with these craft. Or if he's just touched. But he's just a regular dude. You can tell. <laughs> you can tell. I can tell. And if he is... tapped by an agency to disseminate information, it's not disinformation. It's cutting edge, leading edge. of this transitional period that we're in, information. Without further ado, click on the first link in the video and look at the three suns. And admit that your mind is pure gravy. No, no more brain gravy! Yep, brain gravy. It is thick country gravy. Reality as we know it is breaking down and unraveling, but replacing that is a new reality that's raveling and assembling itself. Because nature abhors a vacuum, there is no unexistence. There's the existence of the old paradigm of the world as we once knew it, and the new paradigm. And in that new paradigm, there is a, as Donnie was saying, there's two sets of clouds in one of his recent videos. I've only watched a few since I looked him up again the other day says there's two sets of clouds. This is something I've been talking about for a while now. With the ghost moon, ghost bird, ghost airplane, what I think is happening is a, like a plasma LCD screen. On your flat screen, it's called a plasma LCD. <clears throat> Liquid crystal display. I think what we have on our round screen is just like a flat screen, but in a curved surface over the top of us. And instead of liquid crystal display, it's a powder crystal display that also uses plasma. So we're seeing there's a, a sky screen, just like the, a projector projects onto a screen. There is a screen over the top of us using plasma and the liquid crystal display that's actually a powder crystal display, aluminum, barium, salt, uh, strontium, and they call it barium salts. Salts as in crystal, as in liquid crystal display and a powder crystal display using the plasma screen. Why is this plasma screen there? 
in the comment section of Donnie's video that, I've, that I'm telling you about is going to be the first link. Someone said, and they said they watched some other person's video and they don't know who it was and they'll include a link later. I'd like to ask them, send me that link when you find it. They said that someone had a dream or a vision that angels by the thousands or millions are standing by, awaiting God's word to carry out God's will. Well, that would explain a lot about these clouds that move, about the orbs, about why we have this secondary sky above us that's a lot lower than we ever remember. It seems to produce these ghost moon, ghost bird, ghost airplane, a secondary shadow projection. And then behind that second screen is God's angels on standby waiting for the word. And that seems to be pretty much the message I've gotten too. And then they won't be coming to pick me up solo. They come in teams. And they travel in packs. And they have many different people in their federation. It's not one breed or one race. It looks more like the bar on Star Wars. So you won't know who the good guys and the bad guys are, but they'll know who you are because they can read your mind and your heart. And they know in your heart whether or not you're terrified or in love when you see them. Then you won't know what to expect and what they'll look like. Because they look like a lot of different, they take a lot of different forms. They can even come in human form. I opened up this can of worms and didn't really want to go this far. I just kind of wanted to dish it off to Donnie. Did you know that the Anunnaki called themselves the Elohim? And the Elohim is the God of the Bible? Just saying. The God of the Bible is called Elohim. The Anunnaki called themselves the Elohim. That kind of meshes right up with what I've been saying about Satan was the serpent in the garden and Jesus was his brother and that means they're both serpents and they're both God's children. That means God's a serpent and so are we. I'll include a link in the description also about that one where you can go to to hear someone else confirm. It doesn't say God made man in his image. It says they made us in their image. They as we and we as they. Imagine we are a hybrid cross-species. Maybe part gray and part reptilian. One thing they're definitely interested in is our emotions. A lot of people have reported that when interacting with these beings. Because they don't seem to have emotions, nor do they have creativity. Much like a computer, some people say the Greys are actually an android cyborg, like a computer, a biological computer. And the reptilians are cold-blooded, cold-hearted, don't have the emotions. But as I've said, maybe it is they who have the big hearts, and we who are cold-blooded. Either way, it is our emotional slash spiritual growth and development that they seem to be most interested in. My next upload will be referring to emotional retards, of which I am one as are all of us. And the word retard just means behind as opposed to advanced. And I'll be talking about it in the technical terminology like the timing on your engine as the piston raises up and compresses within the cylinder.